Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I'm Al Naz and today's video is office organization. I was waiting for us to get this DIY accent wall in the office done before I start my office organization and finally it's here. I just wanted to apologize to you guys for my delay and I haven't been on a weekly post schedule because life has been crazy but I really appreciate you still following me and being here and supporting me so if you're still interested please keep on watching if you haven't subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing and if you enjoy watching this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it means a lot let's take a look okay this office room is truly a mess. It's actually embarrassing to show you guys. The only thing is nice about this is this wall, which I'm not sure if you guys got a chance to watch my last week video. If you haven't watched it after, I show you step by step how I did this with all the uh, board and bat wood and the color and the paint. And then we decided to hang all my husband's guitar and we purchased those, those two um, lamp from Amazon and I love them. Um, so I have the link in my bio if you guys are interested. But yeah, let's get to this mess. And look at this closet. Okay, I have a lot of clothes which I wanna remove all the clothes from here. And I want to use this shelf and I'm going to organize all the kids homework and I have some tips of how you can actually um, store, sorry, seriously, COVID test. I mean, it's a mess here. Um, all their homework and activity that they do. And um, yeah, I have a few good tips for you guys for storing those. So stay tuned and um, enjoy. One big question that i always get from my followers is where to start how to start especially when it's so messy like my closet and we get so overwhelmed i always tell them you need to take everything out of the space and you need to be very aggressive when you're decluttering you want to make sure you really truly get rid of everything that you do not really use or need and don't forget to wipe and clean the area that you are organizing after you removing everything you want to make sure everything is clean before you start organizing again And don't forget to wipe your baseboard, they always collect lots of dust. I am all done with the closet. Everything is out and the closet is clean and ready to be organized. I love these shelves. I might actually buy more shelving for the other side of the closet and hang them later. But you always want to make sure to optimize your space by maximizing your storage and functionality, by adding some bars, hooks, or shelves like that. But look at this mess in my hallway. Most of them are for donation, like that tripod in the corner was broken for a long time. Uh, and I have a lot of uh, old books and things like that, which I will be donating. And now I'm ready to get back into the office room and start organizing. This is a double-sided hanging gift bag and gift wrap organizer that I got from Amazon. I actually saw it on one of the organizer group on Instagram and I heard a lot of good things so I couldn't wait to get one and organize all my gift wraps and gift bags. It's so convenient because you can just hang it in your closet and it will save you a lot of space.
And these are all the crafts that I use, so I'm just putting it up here. And I got these 21 pack plastic zipper pouches that they come in different sizes and they're great for school office supplies, puzzles, games organizer. And I'm just storing some of my thank you card, Christmas cards and things like that. These are all my badges from uh, my college time when I was rotating at the hospital in Bay Area and I just can't get myself to get rid of them. Um, I also wanted to um, tell you guys about these clear containers. They come in different sizes. I have them and I use them everywhere in my house, in my bathroom drawers, in kids drawers. They are great to organize any drawers. One of the best way to keep your kids homework and assignments and project organized is by getting one of these binders. They have tab for each month and you can just organize it by the month and it's always uh, there to reach. And if your kids is older and they have different uh, like activity, for example, they have math. You can just have one folder for math, one for folder for other things and at the end of the year you can just go through them and the things that you want to keep you can just simply take a picture and then you can actually go on Amazon photo is free and you can make an album for your kid or kids and you can just transfer that photo to that album so you don't need to keep all the papers and pile up years of uh, paperwork and homeworks. Instead, you can just keep them in a digital folder and organize by date, time, year, and you can just keep them forever and it won't take any space in your home. and take advantage of any space in your closet. So I'm putting the things that I don't really usually use on a daily basis in this basket above the closet. Really Wanted some sitting area in the office, so I'm putting this ottoman, but to save more space, I'm putting this file folder frame inside the ottoman to transfer all our paperwork and files from our filing cabinet to there. You can also use it to organize your kids' homework assignments. Moving on to the rest of the room, I'm actually donating this table lamp and I'm just cleaning up to make more room for our desk in the corner 
and I'm just putting all the loose items like my husband guitar bags and things like that in the closet using again another basket to put all my um, workout stuff which I barely do work out um, but anyways so um, hopefully this year hopefully soon um, and I'm just cleaning around the room This is the next day and I'm just tackling this messy desk. Hopefully we can get it look like a real office soon. I got this desk organizer with the drawer about six months ago, but obviously I didn't get a chance to organize my office till now, but I love it. It looks really nice. It has space for everything that you really need to keep on your desk but in one organizer and they have it in different colors this is like a white gray marble look and uh, i bought it i think for 34 dollars but right now it's on sale for 29.99 um i'm gonna have the link below if you're interested And of course, uh, you can't decor without a plant and your family picture. And I'm just adding a few of my kids' a newborn picture with the little feet, so cute. And just like that, two days of decluttering, cleaning, and organization is all done. I'm just going to give you a real quick tour so you can see how everything has its own place and organized. Yes, maybe it's not a Pinterest perfect looking office, but everything is organized on a budget and all the markers and crafts are in reach for my kids to grab and do their artwork here. And hopefully you all enjoyed watching this video. I wanted to thank you all for being here, being so patient with me. I love you guys so much and hope to see you all next week. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.